Hey guys, Kyle Kelly from Kelly's Port taking you through brand new listing on a 2006 Skeeter SL190 fishing ski. Um, pretty clean boat here guys, lots of nice options on it. I'm going to preface this video by telling you guys I honestly don't know much about the fishing market so if I say something here that's incorrect feel free to comment on here because I don't know the fishing market as well as I could or should so I'm gonna try and get through the best of this to the best of my knowledge but if I say something in here incorrectly feel free to post on here a comment that's the beauty of social media uh, but first and foremost boat does come with the trailer single axle trailer it does come with the breakaway tongue with the aluminum step plates up in the front up here it does have the Minn Kota all-terrain 70 uh, pound um, uh, trolling motor up in the front up here with an additional Lawrence X 47 uh, fish finder depth sounder up in the front up there stainless steel grab panels in the front of the open bow up here all the tires are all in good condition um, spare tire up in the front here as well with mounting plate uh, getting the back back here we've got the Yamaha two-stroke V max 150 with a stainless steel propeller on it Oh, almost slipped. Uh, does include, as you can see back here, the transom, I believe it's called the transom jack plate, if I remember correctly. Uh, please don't quote me on that again. Got some nice step plates on the back back here with a nice big sun pad. So you can see from some of the photos, you've got additional live wells, larger live wells on the port and starboard side here. And some, I guess they call them bait tanks, back here in the corner on either side here as well, underneath the seat here on the starboard side and on the port side as well. Nice big full-size bimini top aboard the boat as well. Stepping inside here, we've got again another Lawrence X47 in the back back here as you do in the front. Nice AM FM CD player with the auxiliary point for your plug-ins for your MP3s. Little storage in the glove box here as well. I don't have the key for that, I apologize. Uh, end floor ski stowed with the ski tow bar. That locks into place here, and additional stowage up here in the front as well, and stowage on the starboard and port side with a nice big pad up in the front up here. Nice windshield up here as well. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, the exterior of the boat is pretty clean, guys. It's pretty well flawless. The only thing that I noticed, one, this needs a new weather stripping, but that's something you get from Walmart and just take the old one off and put a new one on. It's not a big deal. The only one thing that is a little bit of a concern, uh, basically the reason the owner selling the boat is uh, purchased the boat, husband passed away for selling it for the wife. While they had it in stowage, a cat made a home and uh, did some tears on the vinyl here. So I might try to get a vinyl repair estimate here because we've got a couple more tears in the port side and some small ones on the starboard side as well but probably like to try and get an opinion on what it is uh, honestly guys the boat's been listed for a time period with another marina they're interested in selling so make an offer on the boat it is clean it is one owner um, it's got everything you need with it um, they just just haven't used the boat uh, so other than that all the vinyl looks in great condition all the carpet looks like it's in great condition as well uh, the overall hours, we haven't done the safety inspection on the boat yet, so we don't know the hours. She was thinking it was very comfortably under 100. I think they only used the boat, she said, for like one season. So, again, all the gels in real good, clean condition. Trailer's in good condition, not showing any rust or anything like that. Just the only thing that I noticed, again, was those, uh, were those, um, um, the captain's chairs there. So, uh, again, local boat, all freshwater boat, all that's well and good. So if anybody's looking for a, uh, you know, uh, first fish and ski boat, this would be a great boat to save a ton off of new. Or if you're just looking for a, uh, a nice versatile fishing boat for an addition to a boat down here like the Ozarks, uh, this would be a great setup. So, again, Kyle Kelly from Kelly's Port, 2006 Skeeter SL 190 Fish and Ski with 2006 Yamaha 150 VMAX on it. So with that 150, it should be a pretty good runner. So again, Kyle Kelly from Kelly's Port. Catch us here at the Marina if you have 573-348-4700. Uh, you can catch us online if you're not already at kellysport.com where we ask you to buy the best and only cry once.